Whew, how are you all doing? Where have I been? Well, basically, our lives have been turned upside down a bit, our personal lives. Uh, the wife's auntie passed away, and uh, the wife had to take on the horrible task of to empty the house. Uh, Ed's all this stuff here, but uh, this is my third attempt of emptying it, because it has been chock-a-block two or three times. Anyway, basically, we live in Nottingham. The wife's auntie lives in Arridge, so it's like just about 200 miles to get there, 200 miles to get back. Uh, we had to hire a big van which was uh, quite enjoyable. I enjoyed that, driving that to Arridge and back and uh, filling it up with all the furniture and filling my sheds up with all the furniture. Uh, it is on the coast so we did get to go on the beach and we did see a few uh, crate container boats, ships, those big massive ships with all the lorry crates on. Seen a few of those pulling into port which I've never seen before uh, and I'd just like to say thank you for every comment on the last video because I did get some very helpful comments so thank you very much and I must say again that this bike hasn't been touched since that last video because I couldn't even get into the shed right then welcome back moving on a few days good morning and welcome back to future me you should probably can't see me yet, but I am behind all the uh, comments. Yes, like I said, the shed has been chock-a-block two or three times. I've lost the footage of it, unfortunately. We have still got two or three more trips to do in the car to go and uh, clear out the remaining bits. So, even though my shed looks fairly emptied out, but tomorrow it will be chock-a-block again. Uh, once the house is empty, it will be sold. And then hopefully, shortly, all this will be over and we can get our lives back and hopefully live out the rest of our days in peace and doing things that we love like this so don't go anywhere stay tuned to the channel because there's lots more projects on the way first thing obviously is to finish the landfill bike yes it should be used as a storage shelf at the moment yes, uh, Got to get rid of all this and then uh, there's a load more to come. Anybody want a six seater extendable table? Drop me a message. There's no cheers to it, but you're glad. But you're welcome to come and take that table away. Yes, I've got my uh, trailer project coming up. Pretty uh, decapitated. So that's going to be a future project. Uh, I've got loads of scrap aluminium which I will be making clean. Take it to the scrapyard and uh, showing you how much I get for it. So that's another project. I hope it's not too dark in here but we've got the diversion. I've got to do a bit of work on that so that'll be a little video. As you can see it's all in bits on this side because the uh, fuel pump started to leak again. So I'll be getting a new pump and fitting that and that'll be another video. Uh, I did repair the pump in a previous video. I said I'd keep you updated but it failed unfortunately. Uh, and also I'm on the lookout for a motorcycle project. Nothing as difficult as this uh, landfill bike. You know, I don't want to be taking engines out anymore, so I want a nice easy project. A GPZ RX1000 would be very nice, but uh, we'll just have to see what we end up with. 
And I'm also on the lookout for an 1150RT, so hopefully I'll be introducing one of those into my channel as my daily summer ride in the summer. And that's about all I can think of on this video. So yes, don't go anywhere, there's plenty to come in the near future. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment, click the share button. And if you haven't already, press the subscribe button and uh, click that notification bell and uh, I don't know just click click anything there's some up there click it and I'll see you very soon I see you in another life, brother.